The assisted support model has five stages. I'd like to make the point that we should pay particular attention to the su assisted support model as the rest of the courses that you'll be taking in this series all leverage off of or map to the key steps, tasks, and obligations and responsibilities that are defined in the assisted support model. For those phases, phase one, engage the customer. Phase two is scoping. Three is troubleshooting or problem solving. Four is delivering the solution. And then five is the administration or the closure step. Let's take a closer look at each of these stages. Let's start with stage one, engage the customer. This is the first phase of the incident management. A support agent takes ownership of the service request and reviews the contact and the contract information with the customer. Once the contact and the contract information has been reviewed, the agent will send the customer the initial response email and move on to the scoping phase. Service level agreements or SLAs are established and documented here as well. Stage two is scoping. The scoping process involves defining the issue by reviewing the customer reported symptoms, business impact, and developing the scope agreement. This information, along with the exit criteria for the service request, which defines what needs to be done to allow the service request to be closed, is defined in the scope agreement. The customer must agree to the scope agreement before troubleshooting can begin. Scoping is also includes identifying whether the case is about fixing a problem or simply advising the customer about some issue or question they have. Establishing the right severity level and describing the case transfer specifics in the event the case was sent to the wrong person and needs to be rerouted to a different agent. All right, let's move on to stage three, troubleshooting, or may also be referred to as problem solving. Within the available tools, troubleshooting involves developing a problem plan consisting of the following activities. One, data collection, data analysis, research, troubleshooting, possible escalation if needed, and solution verification. The troubleshooting phase continues until all identified problems have been solved and their solutions confirmed with the customer. Stage four is where we deliver the solution. Once this problem and the issues have been resolved, the support agent verifies with the customer that the solution meets the overall scope of the service request and that it was defined earlier in the scoping phase. The agent composes the solution verification email and sends it to the customer. Before moving to the next phase, the customer must first agree to the scope and it has been met. If the customer does not agree that the scope has been met, the process returns to the scoping phase. And now we get to the final stage, administration, which is also known as closure. This phase is reached when the incident solution has been verified and accepted by the customer. At this point, all technical work on the service request has been completed. The activities include sending the closure email to the customer and closing the service request within the support team's service tracking tool. Additional follow-up activities for support agents within the assisted support model may include engaging with the technical advisor to determine what can be done to prevent the issue from affecting other customers, how the support center can be more efficient in the troubleshooting phase, and how the support center can engage with the right stakeholders in the case the issue can generate opportunity leads within areas such as services, cloud consumption, and product adoption.